his girlfriend know about you, but do she really though? They say they pack and never lacking, but is they really though? And I'm bad back to the bone. She get bad back on Patron. Go ahead. So, alrighty then. Um, so yo, welcome back. Episode four, uh, new show. You feel me? We're gonna go ahead and call this LSTV, man. Go ahead and drop the name of the uh, first name or our special guest that we got here today. Uh, you know, I grew up with my with my guests here today, man. I grew up with a real close close friend and up and coming artist. Been doing this thing for a while, man. Uh, I just want to introduce everybody to AOB. AOB, what's good with you, bro? How you doing? What's up? What's up? I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing? Man, can't complain. Can't complain, bro. Excited to have you here. Grateful that you came through, bro. You know, people. You know, people got lives. Everybody got like a real life going on, bro. We're not, we're not like mega stars, nothing yet. So appreciate you having your time, bro, and you know, sitting down with us and stopping by the show. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate y'all giving me a another platform, and you know, we're day ones, grew up together, so it's only right. Thanks, bro. Well, first and foremost, bro, you know, Thanksgiving just passed. How was your Thanksgiving? It was good, man. It was good. I ate a lot of food, you know. Uh, Got to spend some quality family time, you know, all the perks of Thanksgiving. Absolutely, man. I seen, you know, I like I said, we know each other cl- uh, closely, but you just had your second baby, man. You want, can you speak on, on that real quick, man? Boy, girl, name? Yeah, yeah. I just had a girl, Addison, born October 14th, uh, Addison O'Brien. And uh, hey, yeah, you know, I got my hands full. <laughs> hey, hey, another AOB, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Hey, maybe maybe have some future singers. You never yeah. know. There you go, bro. There you go. Hey, like I said, bro, appreciate you coming through. Um, you know, first thing I always like to ask people when we get on the show, bro, is like, you know, where you what part of the city you from? We like to, you know, tap in with Louisville artists, um, and try to make sure people have a connection to you so you never know who's gonna see it, you never know who's connected from your part of the town. So what part of yeah. Louisville are you from, bro? Yeah, so yeah, I'm from J Town, um, which is in Louisville. It's own technically its own city, uh, which is a suburban area. But you know, I've been all around Louisville. Um, but yeah, J Town's my stomping grounds. That's where I grew up. That's what I rap. That's my home set, my hometown. So like, you know, we grew up. We next door neighbors, bro. Let's just keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? We grew up with yeah. each other. <laughs> Um, and like you said, J-Town's its own area, its own suburban, we're a suburban mm-hmm. area. However, we always figured out to find a way to be into some shit. So, like, what would you say growing up in J-Town was like? Was it like, you know, what you see on TV and everything's just, you know what I'm saying, suburban? You know, like, they, you know that's funny because, like, it, it is, like, you know, a middle-class area right. on paper, but... You know, growing up in it, it's just like everywhere else, man. You, you know, you go up fighting, playing sports, uh, just running around with your friends, getting into shit, running from cops. You know, it, it, it's not all it's not all roses when you you know when you think about it. But uh, definitely had it, you know, good and and bad. You know, all right, all right. We- we was blessed, you know what I'm saying? We was blessed, but you know what I'm saying? There's, you know, still easy to find your way in that bullshit. Um, yeah, being, yeah. Being from J-Town, what schools did you go to? So, you know, high school, uh, I went to Seneca for, like, uh, the first half of uh, my freshman year. And then uh, I actually was a straight-A student. <laughs> like, that's not cap. I really was. And then I transferred to J Town because I ain't had no friends there and kind of went downhill. But uh, I didn't stay in high school long, man, because my anxiety was really bad growing up and, uh, you know, still is today. But I ended up dropping out. But I did go get my GED, which was pretty important to me. Um, so, yeah, basically, you just say I went to J Town. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't like, you know, now today mental health is like, you know, cool to talk about and stuff like that. But a lot of people don't talk about like anxiety. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just dealing with that that type of struggle, bro, because that, that affects people's learning, affects people's growth for real. That's a, that's a real topic, bro. So, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's, that's real. 
Yeah, it's a very uh, personal thing for me. And I try to express it in my music as much as I can. And music is definitely one of my outlets for dealing with that. So, so what, what would you say your influences, who were your influences uh, coming up into music? Growing up, I mean, the first, like, it's going to sound a little cliche, but the first rap artist I ever heard was Eminem. You know, I remember mm. back in the early, early 2000s, like, when the first Marshall Matters LP came out, I was, I was like, yeah, this is, this is it. And then uh, as I got older, I uh, was a huge Drake fan. Mac Miller, Wiz Khalifa, Lil Wayne, of course, you know, um, those were, those were definitely my inspirations growing up, for sure. I gotta give you some credit, bro, I don't know if I ever told you this, like, off camera, but, uh, definitely the first time I ever heard of Millie, Lil Wayne, was by you coming over to the crib, playing on the <laughs> And the first time I ever heard Drake, like ever heard of Drake, was by you coming over playing November 18th. Like, literally. Yeah. <laughs> first time. You know, I, for those that's artists. funny. My bad. Yeah. That's funny, though, because uh, that was the very first song I ever heard by Drake was November 18th. Yeah. And I got to yeah. shout out my uh, my brother, Sean. He's the one that put me onto that, who's also my biggest supporter, my biggest fan, so. Hey. Much love to him. Hey, shout out Sean, bro. Yeah, Sean's definitely, yeah. Sean's like a big brother too, bro, because, you know, like I said, been right there next to y'all the whole time. Um, yeah, facts, facts. When did you, when would you say you started music then? Like, when would you, like, when would you start dabbling with, like, freestyling? And then when did you start, like, recording music? So I remember, um, I think it would probably be, like, eighth grade. Um, I wrote, you know, uh, I wrote a rap down and, uh, and I showed it to my dad actually. <laughs> and, uh, I was like impressed. Like he, he didn't, you know, he didn't care, but, uh, you know, I was actually impressed because it was actually pretty good. And then, uh, you know, I didn't take it too serious, but. I did go to my buddy Quentin's house one day after school and you know we're free he was freestyling and I just I just started saying whatever came to my mind and then I said something that sounded dope and I was just like, you know what, man, this is uh I like this. I wanna keep doing this. So uh that's how I started, you know, really getting into it and then it started to become uh uh, outlet of expressing my emotions and opinions and feelings um, without actually having to sit down and tell someone. So mm. it really became therapeutic for me. Mm. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah. One thing I, you know, talking to you and thinking back now is like, you wasn't just on hip hop though, neither. You was on like R&B and stuff like that. And if you think into your music now, you hit a lot of melodies. One thing I like, realize about your music bro your choruses are real fire like you got a lot of hot choruses a lot of fire choruses a lot of melodies in them like i feel like you're really talented in that so i feel like that range of you know what i'm saying of just being open because you was listening to r&b before it was who cool for people to listen to r&b for real like people was like dang he's like you listen to all that singing you're like yeah i, I fuck with it bro so how do you yeah go ahead speak on that speak on so that. uh yeah, so R I've always had a love for R and B. That's always been uh, you know, I, I got a sensitive side. We all got a sensitive side. Uh but yeah, no, um I try to incorporate that into my music. Uh even though I'm not I'm not a singer, I'm not the greatest singer, but uh try to try to take a little bit from what I hear and put it into what I'm doing and tell my life story and uh you know with my project coming out uh you will definitely hear a lot more of that um but yeah as far as r&b growing up usher uh pretty ricky pretty ricky yep. was probably uh probably the biggest one t-pain though 
Love yeah. T Pain. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite artists for sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you started kind of early. You said by eighth grade. Was AOB always the name? Were you going by something else? No, no. AOB was not always the name. I used to go by Young Sid. Uh, and I actually got that name in high school um, because <laughs> people used to say I look like uh, Sid from uh, Toy Story. <laughs> and it, instead of like taking it as an insult, I actually ran with it um, and flipped it on them. And uh, I used to do, you know, rap battles at lunch and uh, so that young Sid just kind of stuck with me, but, um, as I got older, I felt AOB was more mature and yeah. Yeah. AOB, I feel like AOB is probably the hardest. I feel like that was definitely the right move for you. I mean, it's like a double, like it's double entendre, right? Like it's your, you could say it's your initials, the AOB, like you know, AOB, like I just, I always fucked with your name, bro. I think that's a definitely cool. I definitely like the young Sid story, like how people, you know, because everybody got to deal with somebody, you know, teasing them or whatever it is. And instead of, like, you know, being scary and running from that, you embraced it, you know what I'm saying, made it your own. You feel me? So I, always, I, I think that's hard for sure. Uh, yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, young Sid uh, was, like, when I was kind of just, like, uh, experimenting with rap, and then AOB is when I started taking it serious. So, facts, facts. You've been, you've been, you've been dropping projects, uh, singles for a while. Like you, this isn't like your first year. This isn't like your first rodeo, or nothing like that. Um, I want to talk about the growth between projects. Uh, from basing off SoundCloud, uh, you got from thinking out loud to thanks for nothing too. What do you think your biggest growth has been since that first project to your most recent project that you uh, you put out? Uh, my biggest growth, I would say, is my consistency. Mm. Um, you know, thinking out loud, that was my first, um, like, together project I released. Um, but I, my releases weren't consistent. They were years apart. But uh, the past two and a half years, uh, I've made sure that uh, I've kept everybody in the loop and I've uh, consistently dropped uh, progressively better work every year. Mm. I, I also feel like you're, because you're an artist that like, you know what I'm saying, the bars is there, you know what I'm saying? Like you're making people think you got a lot of punchlines, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, not necessarily punchlines. I don't want to say punchlines are limited to to that, but you got like bars, bro. Like you trying to make people think on what you're saying, and I feel like that those have just gotten better, deeper. You found more ways. You've been more clever and all that stuff. So I I definitely feel like as an artist, bro, like you're with the with the consistency tip, but you're also growing in your craft as well. That pen, that pen's getting nastier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. No, I appreciate it. Uh... Bars have always been there, but it's been uh, I've been really working on my cadence and my flows um, and my direction with what I'm saying. So uh, I do appreciate that, though, for real. I've been trying to get better. That's the whole point of it. So, yeah. Yeah, 